each one, then all will be reached by yes. the cause of Christ. Yes. The one way that I find in the book of Acts that God added to his church, right. somebody sitting out there hadn't got on board yet, no. but I'm just about to close out this message, no. chapter 16, mm -hmm. looking at verse 1. Uh -huh. The Bible says, then came he to Derby. We're talking about Paul and Lystra. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, a better known as Timothy, the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewish and believed. But his father was a Greek, the Bible says, which was well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. Him would Paul had to go forth with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in these quarters. For they knew all that his father was a Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decrees for to keep that were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem. And so were the churches established in the faith and increase in number oh. daily. Uh -huh. The fourth way that God can add to his church as found in the book of Acts uh -huh, is through the church's creeds or the decrees. Uh -huh. A creed is a statement of faith uh -huh. that describes the beliefs shared by a religious community. Right. Uh -huh. Your creed is a symbol or right. token by which persons of like beliefs might recognize each other. In other words, your creed is what you believe. Uh -huh. Your creed make you not only talk the talk, but walk the walk. Uh -huh. There are some types of creeds. Uh -huh. You have the Baptist creed, the Methodist creed, yeah. Pentecostal creed, yeah. Christian and apostolic creeds. Uh -huh. And we can find the creeds that were given to the people over in the 15th chapter of Acts. It says in Acts 15 and 27, for we have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by night, for it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things. Now here are the creeds that they sent Right. When they realized that God had poured out the Holy Ghost not only on the Jew, but on the Gentile too. And, and some of the apostles and some of the people were saying that if the Gentiles is going to be part of us, let them first be circumcised. Uh huh. But they said that uh, that's putting too much of a burden on the people because these Gentiles don't understand circumcision. So they said that ye abstain from meats offered to idols uh -huh. and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication, uh -huh. from which if you keep yourself, uh -huh. you shall do well. Uh -huh. right. Ye well. That's the creed that they gave, the apostles gave to the Gentiles to live by. Then the fifth way that I find, and if you were flat, flip back to your left to the fifth chapter of Acts, and I'm just about to take my seat. Thank you, Dr. Gamage, for having me and for asking me. Thank you, Pastor Lisa, for coming along and singing uh -huh, alongside me. All right. The fifth way that God uh -huh, adds to his church. Uh -huh. And this is going to be a curious way. Right. Uh -huh. Sometimes God said in Isaiah, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. My your ways, my ways, said the Lord. Now we will talk that when you add, you go forward. One plus one plus one yeah, plus yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes God has to subtract in order to add. And then at the 